What does my tatao mean to me? Before I received my tatao, being a New Zealand born Samoan, I felt like I was a Kiwi, but I knew I had roots. I never felt that I was maybe authentic in a way growing up. I knew I knew how to speak my language as Samoan was my first language. But just having that tie back to where my parents originated from was something I always dealt with. Bridging that gap between my parents and myself being a New Zealand born Samoan is being in touch with my culture. And receiving my tatau was, I guess in a way, an eye opener for me. I knew that I was a part of history in completing my tatau. It's enriched me into researching more about who I am, where my parents come from. So now in society, I do have chief titles from both my parents' villages. So in a sense, it's brought me closer and I understand a little bit more, but like life, I'm always a student of the game. So I'm always still learning. I never planned on becoming a tattooist, but my background is in the arts. I have all my formal training in fine arts. For myself, I base a lot of my work on the traditional format of Tatao, so I don't really change a lot of the symbols or make them a bit more contemporary. I do not do the traditional Tatao and malu with a contemporary machine. There's only a selected few in this world that still carry on this practice. If you are going to receive a traditional tatau or malu, follow the process and keep this tradition alive. A lot of our clients or wearers of the tattoos that we bless people with, when they leave our studio, they understand everything, all the symbols that they wear on their body. If they understand the history, if they have the knowledge behind it, that's our gift to the wearer. And as they walk away, we can live at ease because that's another person walking this earth that can spread the message or Maybe the symbols that they wear give other people knowledge. In translation, what that means is, even though times change, our traditions still stays the same. Oh, oh.